Yo guys, what's going on? This is Yoki Man here and welcome back to another episode of my Football Manager 2018 save with Olympic Lyonnais. This was not supposed to be the live com. I've literally just sat and spoke to myself for the last 22 minutes rambling on after we lost to Lille, who are now six points ahead of us, I believe. No, five. Five points ahead of us. Um, and never hit record. So... We go again. Uh, we're going to be playing Can in this uh, in this episode. Definitely wasn't the planned episode, but you know, stuff happens. Let's quickly look at the schedule and how awful we've been since you was last with us. When you saw us last, we did the uh, we lost to Monaco two one, which I felt was a little bit unfair. Now we had a big issue after that game. Nebel Fakir had a ligament injury, which put him out for about three months. He's still not back yet. And also Memphis got injured at the same time, so it was a completely different side going into this uh, run of fixtures. We then drew against Hapoel Biashova. Uh, we then lost to Troyes 1-0. We drew with Mets 2-2. Uh, Moreno and Lucas to start scoring. We then won 4-1 against Hapoel. Um, I changed my system and I thought that's it. Completely different system. Three at the back. One I'd never played before. Well, this is it. We're back in it. And then crushed straight back down to earth against St. Etienne. Apparently, they're a rival of ours, so this did not go down well at all. So then I flipped everything. I completely changed what I was doing. We then beat Montpellier 2-0. We beat Michelin 1-0 in the Euro Cup. And then just recently beat Nice 1-0. Moreno getting the goal. So I was quite happy. Um, as you can see here, Moreno scores as well in the um, Bertrand Traore against Montpellier. And Bertrand Traore scored against Michelin. Uh, Lucas Toussaint getting sent off in the 93rd minute. So then we played Lille and <laughs> Yassin Benzia, just as I was talking about how he used to be a wonder kid for Leon, um, did us dirty. And B were, to be honest with you, passed him the ball, must have forgot that he doesn't play for Leon anymore. And yeah, we lost 1 0, but we were. It, this game, I'm still relaxing after playing it. It was. Um, I think it's quite good, I probably didn't record it because I was raging quite a lot during the game. Um, I wasn't having a fun time. But if you look at the statistics, we had 16 shots, 5 on target. We had 2 clear cut chances as well. We outplayed them in possession and we couldn't convert a single chance. It was just infuriating and I've looked into the tactic, I've looked into what's going on and from what I can see is we're just having a lot of long terrible shots. Um, and we're not converting the shots that we are getting in the final third or the uh, the shots that we're getting when it comes into the um, the penalty box. As it says, we have weak influence, which I can only imagine is because having a player like Neville Fakir out obviously is weighing on the team. He was our captain. But we're going to go into this game. I'm pretty sure we can win it. We should win it. If we don't win this, we're 100% probably going to end up getting sacked. And it's not a good time at all. Um, <laughs> I am going to put faith in my youngsters though. William Gubles, I'm going to bring on, and I'm also going to play Amen Gary. These are two players that I promoted from the um, from the reserve team, and they seem to be doing very well. Well, they haven't played much, but they were smashing it in the reserve team. 17-year-old Amen Gary just looks really good so far for a 17-year-old. So I'm really happy with my striker depth. And when I do do a lower league team, these are players I'm definitely going to look at. And then 16-year-old William Jubels or Jubels or... Yeah, that's just what I'm going to call him. Also looks pretty decent for his age. They've both got agility and stuff. So I'm going to play them in this game. Hopefully, this works better. Um... Uh, I just hope we can finally start picking up some results because it's getting really frustrating. Um, but it's like, we see, so one of our positives is we're reducing our opponents to long range shots and that's why we're not getting absolutely run over with this tactic. And their touch is towards the goal. But we're then having way too many long range shots. And I think it's, uh, I was reading this, We've scored none of our 21 long-range shots, and most of them are taken by Jordan Ferry, some by Memphis Depay, um, some by Lucas Toussaint. So the midfield is basically is what I'm getting from it. There is Memphis there, but I'm guessing that's when he's played in midfield. There isn't any 
yeah, none of them are strikers apart from this one that's Moreno, yeah. So none of them are really strikers, so it's just my midfield taking far too many long shots. And we've only conceded two of 25 long shots taken against us. I do like this uh, this one in recent games. So it's definitely good that we're pushing the other teams to do that, but we are definitely having way too many long shots. So hopefully with the player instructions, which I don't normally do... Um, we're not going to have so many shots this time, he says. We've zero confidence, and with the pressure of us getting sacked in the beta. I mean, it's the time you want to get sacked, I suppose, if you're going to get sacked. You don't you don't want to start a long-term save-up uh, for YouTube and then get sacked. That's very frustrating. But um, I would prefer not to get sacked. It's just, I don't know. I would just prefer that we didn't. Show me what you got today and put on a good display. I knew they wouldn't say much to that. What are your thoughts on Olympic Marseille parting with Rudy Garcia? Well, it could be us. It's easy to speculate from outside, yeah. Um, it could be us next. So, uh, it's, this. it gets me every time with this. I think if you didn't have the trials and tribulations in the game, they're like, it just wouldn't work. But it gets me every time, the frustration level when... You, you statistically the better team over near enough everyone we've played. Saint Etienne was just a poor performance from us, but against everybody else, we have been statistically the better team. And I forgot to put Tonelli back in. We've dominated possession, we've dominated shots, we've dominated all aspects of the game, and yet we have done nothing. You know, we played really poorly, we've not converted chances, so it's been really frustrating. So I'm hoping this is the game where we are supposed to be attacking, where we can come come back with something. I've changed it so that when we go forward that we're hopefully not just striking from needlessly from outside of the box. Especially when I've got work the ball on, but this is not... This isn't what I want to see. And... Oh, great tackle, Ferries. Come on, Gibbles. I put both false nines on less shooting. Moreno, yes, 1-0. <laughs> uh, we should be the 20th in the league. So this should definitely, this should be like a, a ticked nail-on victory. But um, yeah, I put both Gury and Gubles on um, less shooting because I noticed in the last game, that Gubles had three shots in highlights and none of them were any good. But Moreno with the scissor kick. Yes. This is, um, hopefully can solve our problems if we're getting more worthwhile shots. Then, um, it just seemed like we were just shooting for the sake of shooting. I don't know if anybody else has had that issue, but that was literally the issue. So we've been in a good run of form as well, so it was really frustrating to lose then in that last game nice ball Gubles oh, would have been his first senior goal either Geary's or uh, Gubles uh, first senior goals if they score in this he's not having a good game though is he it's maybe because not much is coming down the left hand side but at half time we've limited to them to not having a single shot um, which is more than good enough for me We've had the share of the possession and we've had the most shots. What is nice is to see that we've had six shots instead of like 12 shots, but four of them are on target, so only two have been off target. I may, may have just fixed to a degree what's been the biggest issue since I've started playing. Because even in other tactics, um, that's been a major issue is the fact that I'm getting loads of shots. And winning in possession but we're not getting the quality chances we're not creating the quality chances and we're just i'm thinking oh we're getting tons of shots though so we're really dominating statistically but all my shots are from a mile out mile out yeah from miles away is what i mean was that a penalty i'll take it thank you can's just uh Helping us out a little bit, which is absolutely fine. Moreno will step up to take the spot kick. He's my top goal scorer, but if we get given any money, and I 100% we need a new striker. 
All it taught me is if Fakir gets injured, we're screwed. Like, we're absolutely screwed. I know I may love him, but... Why does that count as an assist to Memphis? Like, eh. Assist by Memphis. It, Memphis is on the bench. Right, okay. Memphis is on the bench. Um, let's try Gary for Moreno. And the cats are doing my head in once again. And let's try Memphis there. And. Yeah, let's go with that. Bring in the changes. And hopefully we can see this out too. Now it's, it's rare on a live come recently that I've managed to have a win. Although the last one didn't really count, thank God. Um, I was so angry in that last live come. I'm quite quite glad that it, it's not ended up going live. I hope other people are having tactical issues. And it's not just me. Um, I found it quite tough being Leon manager. It's not been a they're going to score. No! They come back now. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be pretty angry. Swap from attack into control. It's like Memphis Depay is like my. Ever since he came out from injury, if he plays, we lose. We cannot afford to let him come back now. This is ridiculous. We need to start closing the gap on the top four. We've been 100% the, uh, the stronger team. Yeah, this Leon save has definitely been... Um, been testing. Is uh, definitely the way I would uh, would put that. Very frustrating. Let's just waste some time with a substitution now. Um, um, let's bring out Pumon. Let's advance forward. Maybe a little bit of a waste of money was that pun, but I didn't actually pay that much. He, he only pays off if he does the business um, in terms of appearances, caps for the national side, and goals, I think. And he's not come close to achieving any of them, really, so far. I couldn't trust him in. I trust Marino in over him, so we're way into stoppage time now. If we score, that would have just been unfair. And Bewa. Is he, he just going to waste time? We're like two minutes over stoppage time. Gubles, get that ball in. Memphis can do nothing. I might sell him, you know. If someone comes in with, someone comes in with good money for Memphis, I think we can do without him. I'd rather blood the youngsters over him. All I want to do is get Europe this season. So that was a good showing. 15 shots, 9 on target, which I'm pretty happy about. I'm... Once again, though, 9 on target, we should have converted more. 100% should have converted more. But it's not a bad showing. But we should be doing better. Two, we should be doing better than 2-1 against bottom of the league. Really, to be honest with you, from my opinion. But it was a good win. I want to keep morale high. Because we really need to push forward now to get into back into the top. Because it's top 3. It's top 3 or... I am starting to slowly contemplate depending on the group draw. Do I just push it so that we might, like, there is the small possibility that we win the Europa League and then possibly. It's a little bit frustrating because I was hoping to be given more money. I know. I didn't think we were gonna. I mean, I can balance the books a little bit by. We've got a lot in the wage budget. I can give us a little bit more, but not that much more, really, to be honest with you, to bring in a, a class player. Um, so it's, it is a little bit frustrating because we, there's probably going to be no moves we can do unless it's loan players, which is something I'm not really interested in. I'd rather play the youth over loan players to be, like, 100% honest. But I was hoping they are going to give me some money because, I mean, financially, like, we, we got a balance. Like, we we're rich. Like, we are rich. But this squad needs, like, a lot. A lot of changes, really, to put us in any position. Just while I'm here, I need to get Morial out of this team. And put Tonelli back in. We do have the ability to be a stronger squad. I'm not too 
upset with the back four. We definitely need someone better than and Were and Tonelli's been quite a decent player. I'm quite happy with the midfield, but going forward, we offer very little. If we don't have Fakir in the bigger games, we don't have the finishing power. These youngsters are nowhere near good enough yet to be in the squad, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. There's a lot of youth there to blood, though. But anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching this episode. This was a better result than the last episode that I recorded but didn't record. Uh, so a little bit more upbeat at the end of this one. But make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe guys. And I will see you in the next one where hopefully we're still manager. And they gave me some money. <laughs>